March 25th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's begin in Japan, shall we? High levels of radioactive material were find, found from the number three reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. And the Nuclear Industrial and Safety Agency says that it is possible that the reactor may be damaged in part of the number three reactor and that radioactive material has started to leak to the outside. Now they go on to say that the reactor got up to 400 degrees Celsius. Um, the thing's only designed to go up to like 320. Uh, some very big major things going on. <coughs> I will attach the link below to that video. Uh, where was the other one at? And uh, from the Wall Street Journal, Japan's nuclear re regulatory indicated Friday that it raises its assessment of the crisis at the quake hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to level 6 or serious accident after gathering data on radio radiation levels in surrounding areas um, so again they can't keep a lid on this thing it's just uh, getting out of control so here it comes out in the open we have a very serious problem in Japan EarthChangesScott.net. We have another big fish kill in Nebraska. The Ravenna Lake suffers massive fish kill. Uh, experts call it a winter kill. Onlookers call it devastating. Thousands of fish, much more than originally thought, are now dead in the the Ravenna Lake. And uh, U.S. floods to push. 325,000 pounds of lead into Idaho's Lake Coeur d'Alene, C-O-E-U-R-D-A-L-E-N-E, -E -E. uh, French name, I, I'm sorry, I killed it, but apparently there's, um, there's old mining going on up there and these floods are taking this, this lead from the mining and washing it down into the lake. Uh, this happened back in January and we're just now finding out about it. Vanuatu volcano sulfur dioxide plume erupts. And we've got some satellite images. Uh, Vanuatu is a, a very active, very large volcano on the Ring of Fire uh, just north of New Zealand area. And uh, it's definitely going off. Uh, they've got a story first North Pole ozone hole forming? Question. Uh, spawned by strangely cold temperatures, beautiful clouds helped strip Arctic atmosphere of the most of its protective ozone this winter, new research shows. And these are the same damn scientists that are trying to push uh, carbon tax down your throat. U.S. tornadoes ripped through western Pennsylvania. Uh, severe storms. They've got some videos of this thing. M Miramar. Earthquake. Magnitude 6.8 is the official. I know it came out early today as a 7.0 with some aftershocks. I saw reports of uh, at least two people died from uh, falling debris. And uh, apparently this is um, a nation's China territory, something about a military dictatorship, and uh, people don't like to talk to the press. Um, so... Uh, who knows how devastating it is exactly. Colder than normal spring predicted by Environment Canada. So Canada is saying brace for colder than normal weather. Uh, over to the Extinction Protocol. They've got the Vanuatu Volcano story, of course. Come on. The North Pole story. And 7, 4.7 earthquake strikes Peruvian capital, seventh tremor in March. So the Peruvian capital has been shaken all month long. Scientists warn Australia in the midst of an extinction event. Uh, they're talking about um, a lot of their wildlife are they're they're dying off because they can't compete with the rats and the cats and the dingoes and all that along with the climate.
And again, with the kill away of volcano lava, threatens fragile rainforest, and they're trying to save this thing. Over to the RSOE. What did they have going on today? Got a drought in Thailand, hailstorm in the state of Indiana, uh, tornado in Williams, California, extreme weather in Spain, and of course the Hawaii forest fire. That's about it for the new stuff for today. I'm trying to keep it shorter. So if I missed anything, please let me know. I know we've got a lot more things going on. Uh, please comment below or attach your video. <laughs> Until I see you again, thanks everybody. Enjoy what you can.